Hey, 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 everybody. Um, it's a new video, and uh, might not look like it's a new video because I'm wearing the same thing <laughs> that I always wear. But typically, this is what I wear when I'm in the house. Um, I wanted to start off this vlog. Um, it's on a sad note, but I feel like I need to talk about this, and um, we are going to talk about it. Um, so I'm a content creator and I'm based in South Africa and over the last week there has been crazy, crazy, crazy amounts of things that have been happening in the country, in the news, um, and I haven't been able to vlog. I normally start my vlogs, uh, during the week, but it's actually Sunday today. Um, I haven't been able to vlog because my, my anxiety has been on 1000 this week, um, so if you haven't been following the news or if you're watching this from a different part of the world and you're not familiar, um, there has been some unrest and um, looting and craziness, really, that's been happening in South Africa uh, this week. Um, and it's been happening for pretty much the past week. It has subsided now. It's actually, there's no looting and and fighting and shooting and arresting and all of that that's that's been going on for the past couple of days um it started on a sunday and it went on till about wednesday thursday and it's really been a tough time um this was spurred on by our previous president um who was arrested <laughs> And his supporters, supporters, I say this in inverted commas because I feel like this had nothing to do with, personally for me, I feel like it had nothing to do with the arrest of the previous president. Um, but just Google it. I don't want to say people's names and everything because just really, I don't want to give much life to this because it really is a painful part and it's going to be a painful part of South African history because this hasn't... Nothing like this has happened since pre-1994. Um, this, this was wild. Um, so what basically started happening from Sunday last week, that Sunday was seven days ago, so around the 11th, the 10th or 11th of July, what started happening was uh, you just had a lot of people just vandalizing malls and stealing things and breaking into malls, shops, uh, people's businesses and establishments and uh, just looting, really, just a, a crazy, crazy amount of looting in uh, various parts of the country, more so uh, Gauteng and KZN, which are two of the, the provinces that we have in this country. And... Um, you know, initially when I was watching the news, I thought that it might have to do with the fact that the previous president was arrested and his supporters were going crazy and wild and all of that and were deciding to, you know, I don't know, avenge the arrest of the president. I don't know what they were trying to do. Previously, I thought it was that. But as the looting and the unrest kept on continuing and people's businesses were vandalized and 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 people's shops were broken into and all of that, I then changed my tack and I started seeing that this is just, this is an act of criminalization, vandalizing. It's just criminal acts. I, do, I refuse to see it as supporters of the previous president trying to make a statement by doing what they did. I just feel like it is crime and it's act of vandalism. And I was very, very upset at, uh, at it. Uh, my anxiety has been on 1000. And ever since that Sunday, I've pretty much had a headache every single day till today. Even now I have one very mild, but I have one and I feel like it has everything to do with stress it has everything to do with um, just really feeling shitty about what's going on in my country. I'm very, very patriotic to my country, very. And uh, seeing something like this was really, really hurtful. Guys, I cry at everything, so if you, if you can hear my voice break a little bit, it's because I, I am quite devastated at what has happened in the country. I'm devastated for 
the business owners, the small business owners, not the multi conglomerates, not the not the MNCs, you know, not not the big shops and malls and all of that. I am more devastated for the businesses that are not going to recover from this, the businesses that don't have insurance for this kind of thing. I'm more devastated for them. And um, I just feel like naturally, South Africa is a very peaceful country. Things like this don't happen in this country. That's why I feel like I'm so affected by it now because I feel like things like this just don't happen. They don't happen in this country. Um, and um, because of that, I feel like uh, we're in a really, really difficult place as a nation. Um on top of the fact that there's corona and 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 you know the vid is just bogging down on us like crazy. This delta variation is just there's just people dying, yo, like there's a lot going on. Um so I'm just this is coming from a point of just disappointment, uh sadness. Um yeah, the, you know, there was there was racial things that started happening that were attached to the fact that um, this unrest is happening. Uh, people couldn't shop for things because there were shortages of things and um, some people weren't let into shops because of the color of their skin. Some people were shot and killed because of the color of their skin. And um, it's fucking wild. Like, I can't, I don't want to say that it is motivated by the exit of, oh, the arrest of the previous president. I just feel like this is violence, um, and it's crime, and it's vandalizing, and I refuse to see it in any other way. Um, so I've been, I've been really, really uh, not feeling the best for the past week. Um, I've been sleeping really late, like 2, 3 a.m. in the morning. I have been worried for my family members that live in the townships. Uh, I have been worried for people who have so much losses now because their businesses have been vandalized. Their businesses have completely been shut down because it's a small business. How is a small business going to recoup from this amount of vandalizing. And I feel like as a content creator, I cannot not talk about this. I cannot not say anything. Um, on my social media, I, I talked about it for about a day or two, and then I just stopped because my mental health was just not having it. Uh, I just stopped watching the news. I worked, I did what I needed to do for work, I did what I needed to do for you guys, for co for content creation, and uh, I just didn't watch the news. I would watch Netflix, I would watch comedy shows, I would watch anything it took to distract myself from the bullshit that was happening in the country. And of course, attached to that, there were a whole lot of comments, uh, as somebody who's in the social media content creation space, there were a lot of comments about... Um, you know, why social media content creators are, are quiet? Why aren't they speaking? Why aren't they whatever? Um, you'd have other social media content creators coming for social media content creators who are quiet and not saying anything like, why aren't you saying anything? Why aren't you using your platform? Listen here with that bullshit, okay? Listen here. Sometimes we can't, we just physically can't keep talking about it over and over and over again. Sometimes we need to do whatever it takes to be in a good mental space. And if that means we need to stay away from this and not tweet about it and not talk about it and not blah, 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 we need to do whatever we need to do. So no one can come here with a holier than thou attitude. I'm sorry. I feel like 
I feel like I'm raising my voice. No one should come here with a holier than thou attitude on some, yeah, as a social media content creator, why aren't you saying anything? Listen, I'm trying to preserve myself and my mental health because the last thing I need to do now is have another mental breakdown or something that's going to have to cause me to be in the hospital or just stress and headaches and whatever, things that need to that will force me to leave my house at a time where I shouldn't even be leaving my house because there's a virus out here. You know, like anything that I can do to protect my mental health and mental space, I will do. So if that includes not talking about what's going on in the country and needing space to digest and figure it out and, 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 and get my mind in a place where it can speak, and if that means a week or two or three, then I'll do that. And I'll speak about it when I, when I uh, uh, can and if I want to, you know? So those kinds of chats started happening. It was just fucking wild, really. And then in the latter part of the week, um, <laughs> this, is the, this is the beauty about being South African. In the latter part of the week, things changed. I've been talking for 12 minutes. In the latter part of the week, things changed. And I saw the resilience of South Africans. And I saw the coming forward and, you know, paying it forward and lending a helping hand and, you know, seeing what I know South Africa to be and South Africans to be happening. Uh, so South Africans United came together, started cleaning up the, the malls and the shops and all the things that were looted and and um, just started uniting and binding together. South Africans, you know, standing in front of regular citizens, standing in front of malls and all of this and saying, uh-uh, whoever's going to come here and try to loot this, we're not going to allow this because this is our livelihood, you know? And I started seeing what makes our country a rainbow nation. I'll put in a clip that I have on my phone that, that shows this quite well because I can never, I will never be able to articulate myself well enough um, because with things that I'm often really passionate about and if it's things that make me sad or really happy or whatever, I feel like I don't articulate myself that well. So when I started seeing that, I was just like, aha, uh -huh. this is the country that I know. This is the country that I grew up in. Uh, this is the country that I live in. This is the country that I want to die in. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, things started changing, you know, things started looking up and, <laughs> yeah. So now, now we, we march on and now we fix what we have broken and now we uh, work on mobilizing ourselves to be better for one another and helping out the ones who are in need. And um, that, that part has been beautiful to witness. So, it's been a hard week. I'm sorry, I had to start off this vlog with that. Very, very important. I don't know how long this vlog is going to be. Uh, I, I don't know how long it's going to be, but I had to start it off with that because yes, I do also very firmly believe that with the space and the platform that I have, I should talk about these things and I just did. <laughs> um, so recently I started reading again. I didn't read pretty much for that whole week. Uh, I think I finished off a book on the, on the Monday or the Tuesday and then I didn't read, uh, for, for four or five days. And, uh, I recently started reading again this morning. And this is my current read. This is When Secrets... Ooh, pins and needles, pins and needles, pins and needles. Uh, this is When Secrets Become Stories, Women Speak Out, uh, edited by Sunyati. Of course, you know who Sunyati is. She is not a stranger to this channel. Uh, you know exactly who that amazing woman is. Um, so this is an anthology of stories that are shared by women who have suffered some form of gender-based violence um, in the country. They share their stories and they talk about it and they bring it to life and they speak on their um, experiences, what has happened to them when they were younger, whether it be rape, whether it be... Uh, 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 um, um, abuse, whether it be whatever, in the structural space, in, in, in the workspace, in the family space, whatever it may be. And um, I just started this this morning and I only read about four stories, so I'm not, 
I'm not, I haven't dented it much, but I'm probably going to read. Um, this is not, this is a very triggering, triggering book. Uh, if you're somebody who has suffered at the hands of gender-based violence, which I feel like in this country, some of us, mostly all women, have suffered some form of violence towards them. Um, um, and we're not going to nullify it and make it just because you suffered harassment and someone suffered rape, it doesn't make your story uh, less valid. And uh, so, yeah, this is what I'm reading. Very, very triggering. Uh, the, f the, first, uh, the first story was about rape. And uh, the second one was about abuse. So it's really, really hard. And it's not something I suggest that you read if you are uh, triggered by these things. But it is something that I suggest you support as a, um, even if you're not a reader, but as a South African woman who, or South African woman or man who is against gender-based violence, I really highly recommend you pick up this book. Even though you might not read it, or you might want to pick it up for a friend or a family member, pick it up and support these uh, authors. And uh, support this, because this is something that needs to be spoken about. This is something that needs attention brought to it as often as we can, more especially in this country. So, yeah. It's, um, it's a hard one. It's a hard one. It's, it's kind of crazy how I'm just... This is hard, and I'm putting it into my mental space, and it's going to be hard to deal with. But um, I want to support these authors, so I picked it up from Exclusive Books for 272 rand. Um, yeah. So that's what I wanted to say. There really isn't going to be much uh, with this vlog. I am going to eat now. And you guys won't believe what I'm going to eat because I have been influenced. And I feel like I deserve... I deserve <laughs> something that's going to at least make, I, I, I want to eat something bad that's going to make me binge and all of that. And I picked it up. So I'll show you what I'm going to eat now. You guys are going to die, but I really wanted it. Um, and I'm probably going to pour myself a glass of gin and juice. And um, yeah. Check how much stuff I got. Look at all that stuff. Who who do I think I am? I don't know. Ah, I still have the pins and needles. At this point, I don't know who I think I am because that's a lot of food for me. I'm not even going to finish that, but I'm going to leave some of the cheese bites and the mozzarella bites. Um for in the fridge for the lady who's gonna come clean up here tomorrow because so you saw what i got i have been highly influenced by my sister to pick up the mozzarella bites and the uh, um cheese bites i'm gonna start with the cheese bite Honey, mm -hmm, good. Got like jalapeno, they're a bit spicy. Not crazy spicy, it's something you can handle if you're somebody who doesn't like spicy foods. But they're good, bruh. Mmm, 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 mmm. But now this, this is dangerous. This is the mozzarella sticks or bites or whatever they call them. It's dangerous, but because it's just a lump of cheese. That's why it's dangerous. Oh, it's good. It's Sunday. It's Sunday, and for me, typically, what I feel like on a Sunday, tomorrow is just seven colors. Like, you need to eat. Guys. Why not? Zaga, zaga, ga. Cool, I feel like on a Sunday, Tamale Oje, you need to eat uh, seven colors. You need to eat proper food 
fish, chicken, burglar wheat, whatever, vegetables, mixed veggies, whatever. Not me, not today. I'm gonna go probably chill, do nothing. Gonna pour myself some gin and juice, you know, after I eat. I'm gonna pour myself some gin and juice and uh, relax and mind my own business because that's what I do best. I mind my own business. I don't make my, my problems other people's problems. I don't do that. So. Hmm. Them cheese bites? Dangerous. Dangerous. Oh. Right. Talk to you later. Uh, what are you gonna eat? I ate already. Oh, you ordered what did you order? Chinese food. Mm, I got some dim sum and um, Ah dim sum is amazing. Okay. Hi, good morning. It's the beginning of a new video. That's what I always say. Um, just got back from getting groceries, getting a bunch of flowers, as you can see, because flowers make me happy. Flowers make my day. Uh, it's a new day. Um, I would hope that you would think that you believe me because new clothes. And at the back there is a couple of other things as well from Spar. So I'm going to show you what I picked up. Let me just put these flowers away and then we'll get into it. Look at these, look at these. How autumnal and uh, wintry are these? The colors. I don't think they're very springy, but I could be wrong, I don't know. You guys let me know what you think, I don't know. extra but I know I'm the same yeah. love me in spite of my trauma give me what I need instead of the drama cause when it pop off it's like oh my all good all day but the night we be going so hard what do you even mean bro look at these look at these flowers like I really want to show you these flowers these flowers are gorgeous look at these flowers like my favorite ones are these ones these are gorgeous look at these oh no this is probably one of the best bouquets i've gotten in a while man look at these oh wow these i particularly love i love 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 these ones a lot especially around um the christmas time absolutely love these ones oh they are stunning but my new favorites are these. And then there's just this, these ones that look a bit like just grass, really, but it gives such a nice effect. Tell me we on a day, babe. I could keep that same energy. When you go low, I go low too. But you'd rather stay high, I know you. Can we stay high, babe? I'd rather be on that way. And you know how I love to wipe down my counters with this Dettol kitchen cleaner. It's good. It's good. Kills off bacteria. Really, really good. Um, okay, so from Woolies, I got chicken because I don't feel like cooking tonight. And I think all I, all I really crave is that chickpea. And uh, I woke up craving this chickpea and uh, cucumber. A salad that I used to do with the tomatoes and whatever. I really am craving that today. So I'm going to make that. Um, what's new? I think we all know this. Uh, this was mentioned a lot in my sister's video as well. So mm, no. Uh, avocados because I'm out. I literally have one left. And bananas because I feel like making banana oatmeal pancakes sometime this weekend. Um, Cara orange. Uh, sweet potatoes which are fantastic. I've got some fish 
that I cooked last night. You would have probably seen that footage. Um, I, hate, I hate touching my face when I come back from the shops. Uh, you probably would have seen that footage last night. Uh, I was on the phone and I was just like literally eating my supper standing. Don't don't be me. Don't do that. I just cooked up some broccoli and cauliflower with some fish. So I'm thinking that maybe tonight. Nah, I'm going to have the chicken tonight. So it's fine. Cancel that. I'll probably do these tomorrow. Um, and cucumber. Because I was telling you about that chickpea salad. I really, really want that. Let's close this up. More, more, because you can never have enough when you're me. And uh, some uh, clement gold juice from Woolworths. This is actually the reason why I walked into the Woolworths, because I really enjoy having this with uh, my gin, one. And secondly, I enjoy having it with my smoothies as well. And thirdly, I enjoy having it as it is. So I'm really, really gravitating towards this i don't know why so anyway i'm gonna pack the stuff away as i normally do and then and then i actually feel like baking today so that's exactly what i'm gonna do i feel like baking scones for some reason i don't know i've got that uh what is it this makes 12 regular scones this is the snowflakes easy mix which just requires eggs oil and milk i think uh eggs oil milk and an extra egg for glazing so yeah pretty much that so i'm thinking of baking now now actually before i get any work done and um it's probably going to be a long work day then probably i'm going to go upstairs and get a little bit of social media work done but what we're going to do first is bake what time is it now uh, yeah. half past 10 uh, these are normally in the oven for about 20 minutes and then they're done so really by half past 11 I should be done and then I have a couple of things that I need to do so let me pack the stuff away and we'll get to baking here's a tip alcohol spray the sanitizing spray the stuff is really good on the glass of the it literally cleans it all the way up my glasses become so clean. So it's pretty much like those wipes because they also have a bit of alcohol in them. So what I typically do is, if I've touched my glasses when I've been out, I do this and then grab one of these. And grab one of these and uh, I just wipe them down. And sweetie, they look so clean after that. So there's a tip. If you don't want to buy the wipes, there's a good tip. Oh, look at that. Super clean. Super clean. We can share love in the ocean. But if you want to go insane, either way, baby, we could go all night. We could do it all night. We could go all night, all night. Do we heal? Do we bleed? I'm going to follow you. Calls go to voicemail. I block you so I don't raise hell. Should the talk through it in detail? I separate ways, ain't gon' end well. No, but when we get back, it's like, oh my, all bad all day, but the night I get that good, good till we act right. So tell me where we on the day, babe. I could keep that same energy. When you go low, I go low too. But you'd rather stay high, I know. Can we stay high, babe? I'd rather be on that wave. Trying to control our emotions. If we on a rise out of passion, we could share love in the ocean. But if you want to go insane, either way, baby, we could go on. We could do it all night. We could go all night, all night. Do we heal? Do we bleed? I'm going to follow you. I'm cook collected, but you pushing on my nerves and knowing your attention. I'm under pressure. Okay, I'm admitting that a couple things I said got acidic in the tone and the presence. I get careless. 
Long as you know I come with imperfections When you look at me, you see the soul through my flesh You something special Know you looking bomb, the way you dress and gone Flex and hold it still and let my mind digest You got the leverage, you got the upper handle on the situation You worthy of a million more of the storms that we weather We fight retreating, then fuck, but you trying to kill the cycle When nobody stressing that body like me, I know the way you like it I treat you like a queen, run the castle, you a treasure Feel like you setting fire to my desire for the pleasure You a gem, got me blim, let's make amends Know you can't, I'm out here Trying to control our emotions If we on a rise out of passion We can share love in the ocean But if you wanna go insane Either way, baby, we could go on We could go on Let us out Look at those Yes Okay, so we're gonna let them cool for a little bit And while we wait for the second batch, which isn't there, you're not gonna see it very well. You're gonna see more of me then. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna wait for these to cool and then I'm gonna pack them away. And yeah, we're gonna get the others out too. So exciting. So, personally, for me, I like them while they're hot. They're very tiny, like bite size. Not bite size, but <laughs> so we're gonna taste them. Mm, 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 mm. Oh yeah. Oh, should I even be eating here? Yeah. Can we? Oh. Mm. 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 Cute. Mm. Mm. Yeah. of hours later trying to figure this thing out I'm actually really frustrated at this point because uh, there's a cable that I need that I thought I had bought the right cable and that one works but it doesn't work with the condenser mic that I've got up here this 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 thing up here so <laughs> I'm frazzled I'm a little bit annoyed uh, and the thing that I did buy is going to take five to seven days to arrive. Business days. So, uh, I had to figure out what to do in the meantime, which is fine. The weather's kind of crappy. Um, yeah, so I know what to do in the meantime. But there's really not much more else that I have to share, uh, more specifically for this vlog. There really isn't anything. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are good. Um, I know I ranted in the beginning of the vlog talking about uh, uh, what was going on in South Africa and, and positions that influencers were put under because of this and all of that. Um, and that's okay. That's fine too. Um, uh, anyway. I'm gonna go. I'm a little bit frazzled. Uh, I need to actually collect my thoughts and figure out how I'm gonna do this. I, I have an idea in my head about connecting the condenser mic to my camera and actually seeing how that sounds. So, gonna try that out anyway. Um, yeah, that's another option. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video. <laughs> I'm a little bit bummed that I'm a little bit bummed to end off this video, but it is what it is. You know, not all days are going to be good work days. Um, ah. I hope you guys are good taking care of yourselves, being good. Uh, there's a lot of good content that's coming in the next couple of months. I'll be traveling. 
uh, with friends and I'll also be traveling for a wedding and all of that. So there's a bunch of things that are going to be happening. So excited. Um, if you want to see more of my content, and hopefully you aren't bored by my content. <laughs> Somebody called me. Somebody called me. Oh, three, one. Ah, it's a call center. Um, so, yeah, hopefully you're not. And if you do enjoy the content, please subscribe and also click the bell so that you know every single time I upload. Until then, I'm feeling a little bit chilly. Um, my nose is a little watery and I know that means, that typically means I'm cold. So, I'm gonna go. I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> see you soon. Bye.